so that had me really scared well anyways so it gets monday on monday i go back and this time they make me see a psychiatrist on the hospital that it was out of pace that was the fhcc so i went out of there and then i saw this psychiatrist and then i told him everything that i explained to him this psychiatrist brought two other psychologists and i was in a room with two psychologists and one psychiatrist and they were all making me questions and evaluations and everything you know i didn't have an intention to lie and it was not my intention to lie i didn't lie at all i was just answering questions because you don't play with these guys these guys are experts they can read they can read your face they can read your hand has just you don't lie to these guys they are professionals and what they do so i just went and i told them what was happening so i told them what was happening and the psychiatrist in there he told me directly that i needed to go to the mental health hospital so that night he just told me you're going to stay here i waited like one hour and they sent me to the mental hospital so i went to the mental hospital the mental hospital when they received me over there they paid me strip off all my clothes and you know they have to make sure that i don't have any punctures with me or anything that is going to harm myself or other people in the hospital so i had to undress in front of a lady and then I, they gave me some clothes from the hospital and i spent the night in there and And after that, this place was really nice. It was a very quiet place, very clean place. And, and they have food a la carte. I stayed there for one night and then the next day when I woke up, uh, like in the afternoon, they told me that to pack my stuff that I was going to be leaving. And before leaving, I saw another psychologist by that. This was a woman and I saw her by the computer. She told me that she was going to give me my dismissal papers and I was going to be starting my separation process early next day. And it happened like that. I started my separation process the next day, which was supposed to take only two weeks. But then there was another Valicillo in the same compartment where I was. And my papers got confused with his papers and so they had to to send an email to someone and and receive a notice from legal and there was a lot of stuff going on with that mess on my paperwork so i had to stay there for two extra weeks so in total i spent i spent four weeks in separation or five weeks i think it was it was four or five weeks i can't recall but yeah, i spent extra week because of that mess up in there and separation is the process where you start adapting again to that civilian life so i guess that that's good that i stay more time in there now when i come out i don't i don't see a chalk in in the civilian life but yeah so i spent five more weeks in there but the total time that i spent in the on the navy was three months three months and was 98 days yeah 98 days so that makes it three months in one week so yeah i'm i'm back here i'm happy that i'm that i'm uh, i just got out of three three days ago and i'm here at my sister house i came directly to my sister house well when i when i got out i went to the nearest um i took two airplanes one to chicago and that one from chicago no one from chicago to I remember where it was and from that airport I took another one to Orlando and then in Orlando I went I took a, a taxi to to a Hilton because I stayed in that it was in a Hilton I don't remember the hotel that I stayed on but I stayed in a hotel for one night and then I came to my sister's house. I'm in my sister's house right now. And my plans were going were about going back to Honduras and spend there like three months. But my sister wants me to to stay over here and help her take the kids for one month to, to school in the morning, like for three days, something like that. So, you know, at this time I don't have anything to do. So I'm I'm more than happy to take my nephews to to school. So I'm gonna be doing that and I'm going to delay my trip to Honduras and and that is fine that's perfect because that way I can adapt more to the civilian life you know 
drive around again in the city and all this stuff. I don't know if I'm gonna if I want to go back to the Navy again or any armed forces. I'm not sure about it. I'll have to think about it. I was prepared and and that that makes me really sad because I was prepared and now I lost in total I lost 15 pounds. I lost 10 pounds in 10 days, which were the ones that I was on the COVID room and when I was depressed. And I lost extra five pounds because because of the regular schedule that is over there that we only eat only three times when I was accustomed to eat five times and having a a a shake also, you know, a protein shake. So I had to cut all that just to three times. Probably that's something also that really hit me on the depression and and my mental health. But I'm feeling good now, so that that is really good. And it happens what it had to happen. You know what? So um That is all. If you have any questions about uh, the video, if you have any question about the experience, if you have any questions about how to how to do very well over there in the boot camp, ask me. Even though I I was not able to pass it, I can give you all that because what happened to me was was something you know something randomly on my leg that that I don't know. If it wasn't because of that, I was going to be able to pass everything. I was prepared. I was I was. I trained before going, I was ready to waste everything with the books, not only physically, but mentally, I was, I was prepared. But after having that, that we heard things of life that happened, it messed everything else up. But if you have questions about you know, what is the regular schedule on, on, on boot camp, what happens on boot camp, how are, how are the petty officers, how do they treat recruits? How is the familiarization of recruits in the compartment with everybody else? Um, how is the food over there? The food is really good. I was really happy because of the food. Even though it's only three times, that food is amazing. You have everything in there. It's buffet style. You get everything unless you are in a cover room or unless you get one of the bags, which the bags are the ones that you get when you are in COVID room or or you are sick and they have to bring lunch boxes to you. That food is terrible. But if you get to go to the to the uh, to the cafeteria every day, just like a regular recruit will, that food is great. You got everything to eat in there and everything is very healthy. Um, yeah, but that is all for this video. I hope you enjoyed the video and, you know, make me questions, make comments about if you have any, any question about anything. Thank you. Bye-bye.